Hello and welcome to our video on flying cars. In this video, we'll talk about the latest developments in flying car technology and how it's becoming a reality. We'll also introduce you to a new flying car that's recently hit the market and discuss the challenges of making flying cars a normal mode of transportation. Have you ever dreamed of flying cars like in the movies? Well, it might be closer than you think. New research indicates that by 2030, electric vertical takeoff and landing FDL, aircraft could offer a safe, affordable, and sustainable way to travel and represent a multi-billion dollar market opportunity. Urban and advanced air mobility, which includes FDL aircraft, saw record funding in 2021, with roughly $6.9 billion in new investments. And there's already a flying car on the market that you can buy for just $98,000. Jetson is a Swedish company that recently released its first flying car, the Jetson 1, for sale at $98,000. It's slightly cheaper than a Tesla Model X, and it doesn't have to worry about traffic jams. The Jetson 1 is an aluminum and carbon fiber aircraft powered by eight electric motors, has a top speed of about 63 miles per hour, and a flight time of about 20 minutes. Users do not require licenses to fly the aircraft in the U.S., according to the company. Jetson said its flying machine has a race car-inspired safety cell that protects the pilot and can sustain continuous flight with the loss of one motor. It also has an autoland function and multiple safety features to protect the pilot in case of an emergency. Jetson has competitors. The Seattle startup Jetoptera is working on a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that will be capable of speeds up to Mach 0.8, which comes out to about 614 miles per hour. In January, ASCA of Los Altos, California, showed off its Eptel aircraft at the Consumer Electronics Show Convention. A study suggests that the multi-billion dollar industry needed to make flying cars a reality has the potential to solve societal problems and develop a new revenue stream for the U.S. and other economies. But the researchers warn that it's one thing to have vehicles capable of urban aerial mobility and quite another to make the societal changes needed for normal use of such vehicles. Professor Vikrant Vase said, technologies already exist to build and fly the kinds of vehicles that could ferry people throughout urban areas as part of a normal routine. But the big challenges center on conceiving and creating the kind of transportation infrastructure, systems, and protocols that would enable the safe and smooth transition to urban aerial mobility. The study's authors pointed to cities, operators, and agencies that are already investing heavily in UAM to develop electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, UAM systems, and networks. That's it for our video on flying cars. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting and informative videos like this one.